Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, what will happen when exceptions occur in Java? Let me answer. First of all, we need to understand what exactly is an exception. Exception in Java is nothing but a runtime error. When you run a program and while the program is running, if you get an error in the output, that particular error is called as a runtime error, which is otherwise also called as exception. Okay, other name for runtime error is nothing but an exception. Okay, the errors which occur while running the program in the output are known as runtime errors or exceptions. You can call any of them. Okay, so what will happen? But the question here is what will happen when a runtime error or exception occurs while running the program in Java? The program will stop at the line where the exception has occurred. Okay, and the remaining lines followed by the line which has given the exception won't be executed, guys. Okay, that is a problem with the exception. What will happen when an exception occurs in Java? When an exception occurs in Java, the program will stop there itself, where at the line which has given that particular runtime error or exception in the output, the program will stop there and remaining lines after that line won't be executed. Okay, so this is what is an exception and uh, what will happen when an exception occurs in Java program execution will execution will stop at the line where the exception is occurred in Java program and remaining lines won't be executed. Okay. Let me practically demonstrate this for you. Further, I'll switch to Eclipse ID and create a new class. I'll just name this as uh, let's say seven. Okay. And create a main method and inside the main method, I'm going to write some code. Okay. Which will throw one exception. Okay. In a is equal to 10 int b is equal to 0, okay, and int, uh, int c is equal to a divided by b, system.out.println a, system.out.println b, system.out.println c, like that I'll print all the things, okay, and here also I'll print system.out.println end of this program. I can write any number of lines here, that's okay. So, here in this program, you see Java is not giving any compiler error. Okay. Eclipse ID automatically compiles the Java code when you write and Eclipse ID is not giving you any error means Java compilation happened and it has not resulted in any error. This particular line, if you clearly observe, okay, will throw you an exception. Okay. When you run the code in the output while program is running at this line nine, we are going to get an exception known as arithmetic exception because in Java, it is not possible to divide a number by zero. Here B is 0 and A is 10. You are trying to divide 10 by 0, which is not possible in Java. Instead, you are going to get an exception known as arithmetic exception. Okay. You are going to get an arithmetic exception here, guys. When an exception occurs in the line 9, what is the problem? What will happen? That's the question. What will happen when exceptions occur in Java code? At the line where the exception has occurred, the program will stop there and remaining statements or remaining lines of code in the Java program this highlighted lines won't be executed. The value of A will not be printed, B will not be printed, C will not be printed, end of this program will not be printed. None of these statements will be executed because in the line nine, we will get an exception, a runtime error while running the code. And uh, because of the exception, the program will stop abruptly and uh, remaining lines will not be executed, okay? Run the code and observe that the same thing will happen. You see, we got an exception in the line nine and after that, whatever the print statements are there, they didn't get executed because of this, okay? They didn't get executed. So this is a problem with the exceptions, okay? To overcome this problem, we have to handle this exception, guys, okay? To overcome this problem, we have to handle the exception, okay? How to handle the exception is uh, not part of the answer for this question, so I'm not answering that, but I'm just giving a heads up, like, you know, uh, when an exception occurs, the program will stop there itself and uh, remaining lines won't be executed. If you still want the remaining lines to be executed, you have to handle the exception, okay? You have to handle this particular exception in Java, okay? Otherwise, the remaining lines won't be executed by default, okay? So with practical demonstration, I've answered the question for you. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.